The photo etching process involves photosensitive polymer being applied to a raw metal sheet. Using CAD designed photo tools as stencils, the metal is exposed to UV light to leave a design pattern, which is developed and etched from the metal sheet. Precision microengineers are highly trained to work with a wide range of digital CAD design formats from which they plot front and rear component stencils known as photo tools. Precision Micro's photo tools are so cost effective to produce in relation to traditional tooling that design revisions can be implemented at a fraction of the cost, allowing customers to perfect their designs without the usual budgetary constraints. Once a material has been selected for photo etching, it is imperative that it is thoroughly cleaned of all contaminants, allowing good surface conditions for etching. The photo etching process can be achieved through a number of different lamination methods, including roller, wet dip or dry lamination. This comprehensive range of approaches allows component manufacture from metal with thicknesses of 10 microns to 2 millimeters and in sheets of up to 1.5 meters in length. During the lamination process, it is important that contact between the photosensitive and metal layers is uninterrupted, so again, a tightly controlled clean environment is essential. The metal sheet is sandwiched between the photo tools before exposure to a burst of ultraviolet light, which hardens selected areas of the laminate into an acid-resistant surface. The sheet is developed and any unexposed laminate is washed clear. Acid solution is sprayed onto the sheet, dissolving the exposed areas of metal and revealing the product design. If the metal is exposed on only the front photo tool, then the acid will etch from only one side. And where both the front and rear photo tools contain etchable areas, the metal will be entirely removed, leaving smooth, burr-free edges without affecting any material properties. The remaining resist is then stripped away to reveal the finished item. The process often offers a natural solution to many design challenges. Components suitable for blood filtration with features finer than a human hair can be produced at the same cost as a simple cutout. And logos, part numbers and other special features can be incorporated at no extra cost.